So you're in the market for a set of wireless earbuds, but you've never heard of this company before and don't know if they're right for you. In case you're wondering who that company is, though, it's Taltronics. Probably. It may not be pronounced that way, but that's what we're going with. And I'd never heard of them before either, but after my local Best Buy started selling them, and I could get them for $20, I decided to give them a try. I might as well go ahead and get this out the way. These actually have pretty good audio quality overall. I get a pretty full range across the whole spectrum as long as you put the right buds in and so they don't fall out. Ear hooks. Just make sure you do that. If not, they'll stick out even further and you'll definitely look like Frankenstein. They do actually have this nice little magnetic feature so your boys aren't swinging all around, which was a nice little touch, as well as the tingle-free cord. I'd really say there's only two things negative about these that I'll throw out there. One, if you want them for calls, they're not probably going to be for you. Will it get the job done? Yes, but they don't sound the same as with music, and I was told I sounded like I was in the distance, no matter if I had this in front or behind me, because you can drape it either way. Now the other issue I kind of had, and it's minor, is the little charger port cover is definitely cheap and will probably break, but that's just really nitpicking. Now the box does say that they are splash proof, so no dunking, but I doubt the controller there is probably splash proof, so be careful with that. Battery life is rated up to five hours, and I can say with my initial testing, that seems to stand true. Now, as far as a specific model, I'll leave it up to you on how that's pronounced. In the box, you do get this useless charging cord, of course, and also this handy bag to throw away. But I will say overall, for 20 to $30, these are definitely worth the price of admission. If they last you a couple of months for the price point, I don't think that's all that bad. If you get a few years out of them, that's even better. So all in all, I'm gonna give them a go. And maybe we'll do an update on these in a couple of weeks to see if there's really in any quality issues over time that start popping up. Maybe like an earpiece goes out or the controller stops working. But we'll see how that goes. Until next time, later.